might emerge in the top two as Coughlin looks for her third Olympic berth. There she is in lane five. And Claire Donahue's in lane four. Very impressive 23-year-old from Western Kentucky who turned in the second best time behind Dana Vollmer, who we'll see in semifinal number two. New wrinkle this year to the blocks is that thin on the blocks there, Rowdy. What's that for? Well, you see it right there, Dan. What it does is it improves velocity as you go into the water. There's five different settings on that, so it's adjustable. It's all sort of like a starter's block in track and field. It really helps with slippage. Your back foot doesn't slip, and it's a better entry. Fastest and furthest is what you want to do when you get off to a great start, and that fin really helps that. So Coughlin is in lane five. Donahue is in lane four above her. And in lane six below Cognon is Christine Magnuson, the silver medalist four years ago in Beijing, who has not performed to that kind of level in the four years since. But Donahue, Cognon, and Magnuson in the middle of the pool to keep an eye on. Well, now it starts getting important this morning when the prelims happened. Remember, it was only about the top 16. Now you cannot take any chances, especially in this first semi, because you don't know what's going to happen in that second semi. Claire Donahue was nearly flawless for about 70 meters. And there she is right there taking it out very fast, too, in lane number four. A little long right there under the wall, but she's so good until about right here. And that's where things start to tighten up a little bit. Natalie looking much better than she did this morning. Right there with that white cap, looking very strong going in, but both look good to move on to the next level. So Coughlin trying to hang on. Kelsey Floyd in lane three coming on as well. Coughlin stretching ahead in lane five. Who is it going to be? Coughlin just over Donahue and Floyd who tie for second. Kelsey Floyd, 21-year-old from the University of Tennessee, gets in there at a time for second, but Coughlin leads the way. Well, what this does, Dan, and this opens this event totally wide open. There's that fin back there that all the swimmers push off with their back foot. See that great classic entry? You want to get into to the water very cleanly, and it's almost like you go down a slide head first and watch Coughlin at the end here. Nice finish on the end, a little long maybe, but a great stretch. She's so good at stretching into the wall. But this second spot is wide open. 